Hi guys, welcome back to, to another video. I'm Prophet and this is Prophet Productions, okay? And I'm just gonna get right into this prayer so we can start, okay? Father God, I bless you right now and I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. I pray, Father God, that just as you have given me this word, Lord, I'll be able to give it to your people, God. I bind up all distractions, Lord God. Any interferences, any interruptions, oh God, I bind it up and I send it back to the pits of hell in the name of Jesus, God. And I loose now your peace, oh God. I loose now, Father God, your revelation, your clarity, oh God, your precise instruction. Father God, I pray that you would take over my mouth right now, take over my tongue, take over my thoughts, oh God. I pray, God, that you would use me as your vessel because I cannot do this without you. Holy Spirit, fill me up now that I'm able, Father God, to be used by you, Father God, that I'm able, Lord God, to be used for your glory, Lord Jesus. Just as you've given me this dream and this word and these warnings, oh God, I pray, Father, that the people that come across this word, that they would heed the warnings, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for using me, Lord God. Have your way right now. Have me behind your cross, oh God. That they will not see me or hear me, oh God, but they shall see and hear you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bind up now every demonic attack. In the name of Jesus, we send it back to the pits of hell. We release, we release your Holy Ghost fire. Your transformation, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, so... um. Listen, you know, we've heard this so much, but we really are. We are living in those last days. We're living in that in that last hour, okay? We don't know. God can part that sky anytime. We do not know the day. We do not know the hour, right? He says he's coming, he'll come like a thief in the night, right? Nobody knows the day or the hour that he is to return, okay? So um, before, you know, before, before, before there was a marriage mantle that he entrusted me with, there was an end time prophet you know, mantle that he entrusted me with. Okay. So for those of you that know me outside of YouTube, you know, I've always come with the warnings, repent or hell, salvation or hell, you know, destruction. This is coming. That's the storms. The That's always been, you know, the mantle before God, um, before God added this marriage, this kingdom marriage mantle. Um, it was always about, um, being the end time prophet and preparing the way for his return. Okay. Um, so this word is like that. This is, this is one of those, um, warning before destruction or warning on how to deal with what's coming. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna let the Holy Spirit have his way and I'm trying to break it down as best I can as Holy Spirit gives me the ability to. All right. Um, so this was July 1st. God gave me this dream. Okay. And many of you, he says that he is relocating, okay? And, and a lot of you are like, oh, yes, great. He's relocating me so I can be closer to my husband. He's relocating me so I can be closer to my wife and, you know, all these things. I know people tell me that I talk really fast. I see y'all in the comments. It's just how I talk. Um, I can't help it, okay? So I just pray that the Holy Spirit just opens up your ears, that you're able to receive, um, you know, receive what's for you, okay? If it's for you, you'll be able to digest it, okay? Um I, I try, I try to, um, you know, slow it down, but I, ju I just, am, I am who I am. Okay. Um, you know, Moses had a stuttering problem. That's why he, um, Aaron, you know, Aaron went to go with him because Moses stuttered, right? <laughs> God called him to be leader, but he stuttered. So, you know, try to focus in on the word and not, you know, all the other things, right? Cause sometimes we can get distracted. And, and want to be like, oh, well, you should do this and you should do that. And you should, well, you should just listen to the word and don't be distracted by things like that. Okay. I'm not being mean. I'm just saying, um, yeah. So a lot of you are being relocated and you think that you're being relocated because, you know, of a spouse or because God wants to, you know, whatever those reasons are that you think that you're being, um, relocated, right? The actual reason that you're being relocated is because, um, God says an uprooting is taking place, okay? He says a strong uprooting is taking place where he is relocating his sons and relocating his daughters, and he's doing that because of what's to come, right? There's certain lands, certain territories, certain dominions, certain cities, certain countries, certain streets, certain whatever that looks like. There are certain places that um, the judgment of God has went out, okay? We're in a time right now of judgment, 
vindication and judgment okay that is the that is that is the time that we're in right now okay god has allowed his judgment and his vindication to go out and so with vindication comes you know compensation right comes a reward comes a recompense comes um or recompense how you guys you know when to say it, recompense recompense whatever okay um comes restoration reconciliation all of these things come with judgment and 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 with um vindication okay i even hear him saying validation okay this is the time that we're in and because of that um when judgment comes that means the hand of god that wrath of god begins to hit certain places right so we begin to see all kind of things start to happen okay and so um he's saying so that so a lot of a lot of my sons and daughters i'm uprooting you because i'm moving you out of certain lands that I, my wrath may be in that land now okay or or i, I i'm hiding you uh, because I'm rewarding you or I'm, you know, there, there is, he's not just relocating you just because, okay. He's not just relocating you just to, you know, of the reasons that you think that you're being relocated. Okay. He's relocating you because his judgment, his vindication, um, has gone out into the land. So some of you, he's put it in hiding. Some of you, he's, he's connecting you to your tribe, you know, to your, to other believers that can, uh, destiny helpers and things like that. Okay. So he says a strong uprooting is taking place. And with this, cause I see everybody saying like, Oh, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. Everybody's saying pack your bags and this and that. Right. Yeah. You know, you know a lot of us are relocating and moving. Right. But understand me, if if God sends you somewhere, if God says, hey, I want, I'm sending you to New York, all right, he's going to provide for you, all right? He's not going to send you to New York to sleep underneath a bridge. He's not going to send you to New York to sleep in your car. He's not going to, no, a lot of times we move ahead of time. We we, we move ahead of God and we do things and then we out there looking crazy and then we saying it's God when really we got ahead of him. Okay, so if God is relocating you, if he's moving you or he's pressing upon your heart to pack or whatever that looks like, God will inform you. He doesn't need to tell somebody else to tell you that he's going to send you somewhere. He will tell you. They may come and confirm, right, because God will speak to us and then he'll confirm that, right? And so, so he may come and confirm that word to you, but he's not going to, you got to be careful to make sure that, that your and Holy Spirit just have your way. You got to be careful and make sure that wherever it is that God is saying, I'm uprooting you, or I'm taking you here, or I'm moving you here, make sure that he gives you the full plan. And he, cause he will give you the resources and the plan before he sends you. Okay. God is not in the business in this hour of, uh, got you somewhere, sleeping on the side of the road, got you somewhere, you know, bumming around and you don't like, you No, especially if you have children, you have, that's not, that, that's, that's, that's monkey business. Okay. That's monkey business. So be very careful because this is a time where he's uprooting, right? Um, but he's not uprooting for the reasons that you think he is. And he's not uprooting in the way that you think he is. Okay. So you have to be fasting and praying and sticking close to God so that the enemy can't deceive you. Your own mind can't deceive you. Somebody just, you click it and seeing a word and they say, yes, you're moving. And now you're like, oh yeah, this is my word. And now you don't pack your whole house up and just took off on a whim because you just seen somebody saying, hey, we're moving. No. Okay. I hear you, Holy Spirit. God is saying, we're in an hour. We have to try the spirit by the spirit. Okay. We're trying the spirit. And, and, and anyway, he tells us that my sheep shall know my voice. Right. And it, it, we going to God, God truly, if, if, if you are listening to somebody or somebody telling you, God said this, or God said that, or whatever that is, or even if you're hearing something, you know, whatever you're going to know if it's God, because he says, my sheep going to know my voice. Right. Just like right now, your children, they don't, they know your voice. If you call their name, they know they're like, Oh, my mama calling me, you know, or even like, sometimes I hear my kids and I'd be like, somebody's got one of them kids just call me. Cause I, I know their voice. Right. So that's what God is saying. If you know me, you going to know when I speak. Right. And so we have to make sure, cause in this hour, there's such trick trickery and tomfoolery and monkey business and buffoolery and all kind of mess going on that people are getting, you know, they out there, they are out there just looking crazy and they're you know, believe in people in there and God so you got to try the spirit by the spirit in this hour so that you don't find yourself uh, somewhere looking crazy. Right. OK, so you don't move unless God tells you. So in this hour, God says, I am uprooting. Um, there is a strong uprooting taking place, but it's not in the reason and it's not the way that you think. OK, but he says, be quiet and diligently seek me. OK, he says, be quiet and diligently seek me. All right. But he says, it is I, the Lord, who is beckoning you to come deeper. Right. He says, I'm calling many of my children out of the pit. 
Okay. He says, my voice, he says, you got to listen to his voice because he's calling a lot of us out of the pit. All right. Out of that dark place. Okay. Because that vindication, that judgment, all these things are hitting the land. So now he's calling his people. He says, I'm calling you out of the pit and you got to hear my voice clearly. He says, because I'm going to rid you of all harm, sickness, and disease. Okay. God says, I'm, I'm relocating you because there is, there is, there is sickness and harm and disease that are hitting certain lands that you're in. So I'm relocating you in a place of prosperity. I'm locate, I'm relocating you in a place now where you can reap what you have sown the good, right? I'm, I'm relocating you now to a place that the enemy doesn't have territory or dominion. I'm relocating you to a place. I'm calling you and uprooting you out of those places. And I'm putting you in the place that now you're going to be able to prosper. I'm putting you in the place that now you speak. There's not so many monitoring spirits. God says, I am doing these things, okay, to get you out of harm's way, sickness, and disease. Okay? He says, for a famine that is rapidly approaching. Okay? So this famine is rapidly approaching. All right, it's rapidly approaching. And, and as God, you know, I've always said these words because if anybody thought, like I said, follow me outside of this, then y'all know like this this kingdom marriage mantle that God gave me is just, just an added mantle, right? You know, um, when when God first spoke to me and told me, Tiara, I'm, I'm calling you my mouthpiece, right? And he spoke to me, he told me, this is, this is what I'm calling you to do. This is who you are. You are my mouthpiece and you are to make that way straight. You're, you are to prepare the way for me, for me to, I'm, I'm, I'm soon to return and I need you to prepare the way for me, right? You are an end time prophet is what he spoke to me. And so my, my words were never like, oh, you're going to get married. It's not, it was never that, right? It was always like repent or die, salvation or die, like hell, like, you know, holiness or hell, sanctification or hell. Like it was always like that. Okay. And so, um, when God started, you know, he, when he, when he began to give me these words, I would always ask him like, Lord, well, why am I, if I'm telling the people to prepare for this, you know, famine or prepare for whatever this is, I was like, well, the other people, the people that like, you know, ain't thinking about you, they hearing it too. So aren't they going to prepare too? And, 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 and I always feel like when he's like smiling at me, like, you know what, you, you, you I love you, Chalamon. Like you're, you're always like thinking and trying to figure some stuff out. Right. But he told me like, here's the thing about it is this, 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 this famine. Okay. This is going to be one of the the driest and biggest famine of all times okay and he says it is rapidly approaching all right it's rapidly approaching and 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 even if even the ones because you have some people right now that can turn to christ you have people how he pressed it upon me is like this if god say you're not gonna eat you're not gonna eat I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how close the grocery store is. I don't care how much food you stocked up on trust me if God says you are not going to eat you are not going to eat because he is God, okay? And so even though I'm giving this word, there's a lot of people that is not gonna hear this word because someone that is truly unrighteous, they're not gonna be able to receive it, right? Because they're too carnal. They're gonna be like, well, this lady, I'm check about She They're gonna find something, you know, and that's what he was showing me. Cause I was like, I was point even warning these people if, they, if the other people gonna hear and they're gonna be able to like, I don't get it, Lord, right? You're affording us all the same opportunities because you're such a good God. And he was like, that, yeah, but it don't matter whether the wicked hear it or not. They're still not going to heed it. All right. And that was just added things. I was just, you know, asking him about that. But God says one of the one of the uh, the biggest and driest famines are approaching rapidly. OK, guys, I'm telling y'all it's approaching rapidly and we have to prepare for it. We have to prepare and stock up for it. I'm telling you, you need to start stocking up on waters, stock up on lots of water, stock up on so much. I'm telling y'all, stock up on so much water because the way that it's going to happen is, it's almost, it's almost like what he showed me was, it was like little by little things were not being restocked. So it's not something that you're going to be able to look and be like, dang, like, oh my gosh, everything's going to the store. I was like, no, little by little. And there, and, and because here's the thing about it, if God say, hey, I, I don't care what's going on here in these fields. I'm cursing the fields. Nothing's going, nothing's going to grow in these fields. It won't grow. And if nothing's growing in the fields, they don't have anything to take to the market and sell. They don't have anything. If he says, hey, I'm putting mad cow disease in these animals. We can't eat these animals. You ain't going to be able to eat them. So no matter what we do, if God says, yeah, you ain't finna eat, you ain't finna eat. Okay. So he says one of the driest and, 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 and biggest famines are coming. Okay. And so... Um, you have to start stocking up now, um, spam, you know, 
noodles, like cup noodles or noodles, uh, uh, br not bread, I don't know, what, what are the, uh, canned goods, w lots of water. Like water was one of those main things, like lots and lots of water, like stock up on water, like stock up on water is what he's showing me, okay? Um, so, so yeah, so just, just, just begin to stock up, just begin to get things here and there. Even like, um, it'd be good to get a deep freezer and start stocking up on your meat, you know, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> start stocking up on your meat. Okay. Um, but I'm telling you, it's rapidly approaching. It's going to be something that you just wake up and boom is here. Okay. But he says he's warning his children. All right. And he says, tell my people prepare for the famine. He says, prepare for it. Okay. Prepare for it. All right. Also, he says lower gas prices are definitely coming as well. Guys, the gas is going to drop so cheap. Okay. The gas prices are going to begin to drop. They're going to begin to be so cheap, but here's why he says gas prices, prices will begin to be very cheap worldwide. Behold, there is a mixing of gasoline. Many cars, especially newer cars, will begin to have serious problems from the gas being mixed. Okay? He says that they're going to start mixing the gas. They're going to be mixing the gas. Why? Don't know. what. I, I don't know. Because they're going to begin mixing the gas. And because they're going to be mix, mixing the gas, the price is going to be dropped so low that we're going to be like, oh my gosh, let me get some gas, get some gas. Now you understand it, that now they begin to mix that gas. And it's no longer just whatever it's supposed to be is not okay um and so the newer cars are going to be so affected all right and so as he was giving me this stuff i was like okay god so what about like i don't understand so you mean tell me my car gonna get messed up from the gap like what am i do right because he's going to cover his children he's going to cover his children no matter what is going on with this world system we're in God's system. So these things will not harm us. These things will not happen to us, right? God gonna give us the wisdom. He's gonna give us the know-how. I hear you. So even right now, though the gas prices are high, it'll be a good time now to get um begin to get um uh, gas cans. Begin to get, I'm telling you, begin to get gas cans and get gas. And get oh Jesus, have your way, Holy Spirit, and get gas, okay. Begin to get gas because it's almost like I see it like it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like the prices are going to be low, but it's going to be like almost like the gas is going to be scarce. OK, gas is going to be scarce. And oh, I hear you, Jesus, because the gas is going to be scarce is why they're going to begin to mix it. They're going to begin to mix it because what God is saying is it's, it's time for me now to show the government to show the world to show the wicked to show the unbelievers to show even my children it's time for me now to show my power god says he's getting ready to show his power and because he's getting ready to show his power we're going to begin to see all these things that's why the famine is going to be so great and so dry and it's rapidly coming because he's saying okay you know what see if i say you're not gonna eat you're not gonna eat my children gonna eat i'll make sure they do but if but 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 because the government and because whoever this is that he's showing me because they're trying to be god and god says no all right let's do it long enough so now you're not gonna have any produce you're not you're not gonna have any li uh, uh, livestock you're not gonna i'm gonna begin to shut it all down because i'm the one that blows uh, i'm the one that blows breath into this livestock. I'm the one that 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 blows my my breath onto y'all crops. I'm the one that that makes sure that gas is steady being made. I'm the one that's making sure that the oil is still running. I'm the one. And because now it's like people are living like there's no God and they're living like they run us or they run America or they run the different countries. God says that's why now I'm about to show them who's in control. Okay? So because now the gas will begin to get scarce, they're going to start mixing it, which is going to cause a lot of the cars to begin to tear up. Okay. And let me go, oh, Jesus, let me go a step deeper. What he's showing me. He's saying, um, not only that, 
but that's why everybody uh that's why they're 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 pushing this electric car thing okay it comes down to this them wanting complete control okay they want complete control they want to monitor when we're able to drive where we're able to go what we're able to do okay because one push of a button and ain't nobody electric nothing gonna be working Okay, they're they're building things and they're doing things, and God says it's all for control, but He's ultimately in control. All right, so um, per, so He says many cars, especially newer cars, will begin to have serious problems from gas being mixed. All right, um, but my people, you will be fully stocked and taken care of. The wicked shall starve without delay. He says so strong, uprooting and relocating for fresh starts for dominion. OK, that no demon will be able to stop or block. I'm hiding many for my glory. OK, so he says, I'm getting ready to hide. I'm getting ready to hide many. I'm getting ready to hide. And we talked about that wealth transfer that was taking place. Those things that was happening where he was beginning to transfer. It's going to be that transfer. But basically that switch It's going to be that switch where God is saying now the government and all those that are all in the in the in the in the circling of that or whatever that looks like. That's dependent on the government. That's that's even a part of the government. All of the, it's all going to begin to fail and fall. It's all going to it's all going to begin to be breached. It's all going to begin to be hacked. And they're going to they're going to fall victim to that stuff. God says, well, my people who have heeded my warnings, who listen to me, who have diligently seek me, who have been on their face for me, who have done all these things, who have been obedient to me. Now, y'all are going to be protected. Y'all have to worry about any of those things that the world's going to begin to go under and we're going to be good. We're going to be stocked up on our food. Our cars is going to be good. You know, whatever, whatever that looks like, we're going to be Our bank accounts is going to be good. Something that can't be touched because God's going to give us specific instruction. Even when it comes to our money, specific instruction on how to do it, what, how to do, what to do, when to do it, when to pull back, when to put in, when to, I'm talking about, he's going to make it so clear and plain to us that this is the time to put our ear to God's mouth. This is the time to put our face to our, to the ground and be in, be, be in God's face to diligently seek him for this hour because the hour and the times that we're coming into are perilous times okay and he says so i'm sending warning of what i'm doing so we have to get out of ourselves for a minute get out of our own selfish desires get out of whatever it is that god what, what, whatever that thing is that the enemy wants to highlight to us get out of that god says because there's something bigger that's happening around y'all that you don't understand i'm preparing you guys for what's to come i'm preparing y'all for these perilous times i'm preparing y'all for this famine i'm preparing y'all for these things because these are the things that's getting ready to happen the things that's even happening right now okay thank you jesus so he says hear my word hear my word children many will begin to watch us from afar with no access to us because they have chose not to believe all right so he says many as he begins to uproot us and put us in different places and whatever that looks like for us i'm sorry guys one second Sorry, I get so thirsty when I'm like, <laughs> um, so he says, um, many of us, um, that, 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 that he's, that he's about to begin to, uh, bless and use or whatever that is. He says that it's going to be, a, as he uproots us and he relocates us, you know, to the safe land, he relocates us to the prominent place, to the prosperous land, to whatever that looks like for us, right? As he begins to relocate us and uproot us and move us to these places, right? And give us that dominion, right? Houses that we did not buy, land that we did not build, right? He's he's doing these things because he's saying that I'm, there, there, there's a switch that's coming. There's, there's definitely a transfer that's happening, okay? And he says that many are going to watch and not even have access. They're not even going to have, they're not going to have access to us because they didn't believe. All right. Even like right now, I'm telling y'all this, my family personally, know I'm always giving them warnings and telling them stuff. Right. So it'll be like, he said, okay, well, if your family don't listen to you, they don't take heed to you. Guess what? Well, you're going to be uprooted somewhere else and they're not going to have access. All right. They're not going to have access. They're not going to have access to you. Um, remember when Joseph, you know, his family did all that stuff to him, put him in the pit, sold him to slavery, all of that stuff, right? Then he went to Potiphar's house and got accused and went to jail. All, all that stuff was happening just so he can go and that he could become now, uh, 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 he, he, he became a ruler. He, he became, uh, uh, he had ownership now of everything over Egypt, right? 
And then his brothers and his dad ended up having to come to him because that big famine happened, right? They had access to him now. God put him in place to be able to help his family, right? But God is saying that it's not going to be like that. That a lot of people aren't going to have access to us because they didn't believe. They didn't heed the warnings, okay? And trust me, God knows how to take this thing right here, this heart right here, and harden it when it needs to be, okay? So he says, many will watch you from afar with no access to you because they chose not to believe even in you, okay? Just as many, many deny who I, the father, was. So he says, many purposely have denied that you operate in power, okay? So God says, many have even denied that you operate in power. Many have denied that you are that chosen one. Many have denied these things about you personally, okay? And he says, because of malicious intent and in situations, now I'm about to cause you to soar, okay? So he says, now where it's about to take a turn, where we're going into this time where this famine, we're going into this time where people are getting ready to be at the mercy of the government. They're being ready to be at the mercy of, of of man and he's saying but you're not you're not because you chose to believe in me you chose to diligently seek me you chose to tell people and try to warn them and try to do these things so now i'm gonna cause you to soar right where others are gonna begin to just fall and plummet you're gonna be soaring okay and he says you are you're gonna glide across the sky with ease because your father has heard you and seen you okay so he says but trust no man but honor the father Okay, for hearts are deceitful and crude as well as wicked. So there's a strong uprooting that you may have what I say you shall have, child of mine. Transitioning shall be easy. He says the transitioning going to be easy, okay? I'm going to make sure that it's easy. I'm going to give you the layout. I'm going to give you the finances. I'm going to give you all of that. I'm not sending you somewhere without the, without the finances. I'm not sending you somewhere without the covering. I'm not sending you somewhere without the plan, without knowing. That's We're not doing that, okay? He says, so the transitioning shall be easy. Trust me. Trust me with this divine uprooting. It is time to shift and go higher in me. I'm going to showcase my glory through your life and through your story. Okay. So where, and he just keeps leading me back that, you know, the world's going to be in trouble. The world is going to be in serious trouble because they chose to listen to the rap. They chose to, to, to be scheming and scamming and lying. They chose to keep smoking and drinking. They chose to keep lying and fornicating and committing adultery. They chose to do all of these things when you chose me. He says, so because of that, there's a separation that is coming. And this famine and all these things are getting ready to happen. They ride around their nice cars and in their houses and all that. Well, what's going to happen now when they don't have food, when their money can't even buy them food because there is no food? What's going to happen when their cars begin to break down and they can't buy another one? Because no matter what you do now, that gas is now tainted. What are they going to do now when they're looking to certain things that are no longer there? And then they're going to remember, oh, wait a second. I remember such and such said, and they're going to come trying to find you or come and trying to ride off what you have, what you have stocked up on. Like the five uh, five foolish versions and the five wise versions. He says, no, 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 no. That's why I'm going to uproot you and I'm going to hide you. Not, they ain't going to have access to you. But I'm going to showcase my glory in you, okay? And he says, all shall now see I was God in your story, in your life all along. He says, so soar and prepare, dearest children. Okay? He says, so soar and prepare. Get ready to prepare prepare to soar. Get ready to soar in one of in one of the in one of the biggest famines and one of the driest famines and one of in one of the most perilous times. Okay, you getting ready to soar in a time where everybody else is it's, it's not looking good, okay? But you but but because you're righteous, all right. So then he took me and he showed me the ocean. Okay, I began to see the ocean and the ocean began to stand up. Okay, and I and I released the word like this a while ago when some hurt, like a bunch of hurricanes had hit. And I released the word like this on Facebook Live when I used to do my lives. But he took me back to it again and he says that the ocean belongs to him. He created the ocean. So when the ocean is just flowing and doing what it's supposed to be doing, it's, it's obeying him. But when he tells the ocean to stand up, thank you, Holy Spirit. When the ocean is just, just out there, just, just stretched out how it's supposed to be, it's because it's bowed to him. It's bowed to him. You know, he says, if you don't, if you don't cry out, the rocks will cry. If you don't praise me, the rocks will pray me, um, praise me, right? Just like the ocean. When the ocean is just there and it's just doing what it's supposed to be doing, it's, it's, in, it's bowed in reverence to the Holy Spirit. It's bowed in reverence to God, okay? To Jesus Christ, it's bowed. But he says, I'm going to speak to it. 
and it's going to stand up. And when it stands up, it's basically a tsunami. Okay, it's a tsunami. Okay, it's a tsunami. And he says, when I talk to it and I tell it to stand up, it obeys me. And I literally saw it standing completely up and it began just to, it began to just wipe, just wipe and wash out towns. I mean, whole stakes were being washed out, washed out completely. Okay. And, and as he began to show me that, he began to say that the ocean right now, it is dangerous. Okay. You say, hey, I'm going to go on a cruise. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. The ocean is dangerous. I love the beach. And told my kids, like, look, we're going to the beach. But look, we sit there. We look, you know, because, hey, we just want to look at it, right? We don't want to get it in and go out. No, right? I got a, my 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 um my 16-year-old wants to be a marine biologist. And God bless her soul. She has been wanting to be a marine biologist since she was about seven or eight years old. Okay, so God bless her soul. That is her dream. I'm going to let her have that, all right? But right now, the oceans are dangerous. God said the oceans are dangerous because the oceans are now obeying him, okay? The oceans are obeying him. And at any point, any time, when he tells it to stand up, it'll stand up. When he tells it to swallow, he, it's gonna swallow. Whatever he's telling it to do. So as I was in this dream and I looked at the ocean, I saw so many like sharks and different kind of like, diff just different things that were like, I, I can't explain it, but but as I was looking in the dream, he said, I heard him. He kept saying dangerous, dangerous, okay? So this is not the time to be on a cruise ship. This is not the time to be out there on a jet ski. This is not the time to be out there trying to swim around in the ocean. It is not the time for that. It's, it's not the time for that, okay? So he's saying the ocean is dangerous right now, all right? The ocean is dangerous right now, okay? Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's dangerous right now, okay? So you have to pray and seek God before you're doing anything in certain territories, right? That ocean is a territory, okay? That ocean is a serious territory, right? So you want to pray. If you are going on a cruise, if you are, so this is just a warning that right now the ocean is dangerous. And I, and, and, and with the weather, like, um, I know I had started noticing, like, I would look at my weather app and it would be like no rain. And like five minutes later, it just, pouring down rain and I kept catching a dude and I'm like God why does this thing keep saying this why does this thing keep doing this right and he was like because they're trying to manipulate the weather okay they're trying to manipulate the weather the government tries to manipulate the weather they be and so what happens is God says no I'm in control of the weather so you will literally look at your app of what man says may happen and God says no it's not even gonna line up it's not if it says it's not gonna rain we can no longer trust the weather app God says because I'm in control of the weather I created the weather so that's why now you're, you're seeing such heat or you're seeing um rain come out of nowhere thunderstorms come out of nowhere right and the tornadoes we know that it's hurricane season hurricanes are coming right yeah hurricanes are coming but it's the tornadoes okay there are about to be so many tornadoes coming out of nowhere and places that tornadoes don't come god says there are so many tornadoes coming to destroy right and it's not the devil and you can't pray it away Okay, you, it's not the devil. You can't bind up a tornado. Okay, no, you're not gonna be able to bind it up or send it back to wherever. No, because people are trying to manipulate the weather and God says he's in control of the weather. All right. So that's why it's a time right now to be on our face, to be diligently seeking God. So I'm telling you, if you're not diligently seeking God, if you're not on your face, if you're not in a place of being righteous in that posture of walking upright, then these things will take you out. The phantom will take you out. The tornadoes will take you out. The ocean will take you out. These things will begin to take you out. Okay. So you got in this hour, you got to be covered in God. You got to, you got, you have to be all right. So then I saw hospitals, okay? I seen hospitals and I saw doctors, right? There was a horrible breakdown in the hospitals. I don't know what they had going on, right, in this dream. But I, it was like um, the doctors were, the doctors, like, they didn't have God. I mean, they were so far from God. They were so far from God that they were making horrible mistakes. They were making horrible mistakes, okay? It was like they was just doing anything, okay? And so God is saying, once again, um, people are depending on these things instead of God. So now everything that, that the world is depending on is going to begin to go awry. It's going to begin to be breached. It's going to begin to be hacked. It's going to begin to have issues and breakdowns in it. Whether it's the weather, the weather is not going to go according to what they said. Um, the groceries in the store is not going to go according to what they said. Okay. Even if I told y'all, I told y'all a while back with the planes falling out the sky. Look at them. I told y'all about the amusement park, but the rides, the rides breaking down, people fall out the sky. Like all of these things, God is saying all of these things that we have depended on 
all of these things that we have depended on outside of him, there's going to be breakdowns now in these things. Everything, everything that we even find enjoyment in outside of him, it's going to be breakdowns in these things, okay? So ultimately, as we're preparing for these things to come, you have to prepare. God will give you a chance to prepare. He will give you a chance to prepare. But I'm telling you guys, everything, some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, all these things that you are trusting in. If it is not God, if it's not that word, if you, if it's, if it is not this word, if it is literally, if it's not this word, baby, it's going to fall. It is falling. It is falling. The only way that you're going to survive and not be taken out in the world or not suffer with the world or with the wicked is to diligently seek God, to hearken into his voice, to heed his warnings. Okay? I'm telling you guys. I'm telling y'all. Okay? So know that we are in a time to where if you are walking upright, if you are trusting the Lord with all your heart, Listen, if you've been waiting for God to do something for so long, you're like, God, I've been waiting so long for this thing. I have been waiting so long, Lord God. Why have I not received this thing? God says, no, it's happening. I'm, I'm, I am finally doing that very thing that you waited on me to do. And the reason why you're getting ready to see that thing is because I'm coming back. And my word now has to perform because I can't, my word, my word can't come back void. So what that means is now that I'm moving and coming back, my word has to hasten and come before me. Okay. So you're going to begin to see things that you have prayed for and that you have waited for, for decades. It's going to begin to come forth. There is judgment and vindication hidden in the land like never before. Okay. There is such judgment that is on the land now. It is judgment now and vindication. God is vindicating his people. Okay. You, you begin to see people get carted off to prison for crimes that were so old. You'll begin to see people begin to pay a price for something that they did, that they thought they got away with, okay? You'll begin to see these tornadoes coming and destroying cities and destroying whole states. Tornadoes, okay? The tornadoes are coming. Houses will be flat as a pancake. There will be nothing, okay? Some people will go to bed with, with, with the big mansions and wake up with nothing, Wake up looking around at nothing, okay? Nothing. Many will literally be begging for food. It won't be one piece of food to be found. The cars breaking down left and right, not knowing what's wrong with them. No transportation now. All of these things, all of these things that they have trusted in, all of these things that, 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 that the, the righteous have been looking and be like, well, they got this and they got that. That's all for the fall. So God is saying, I am making a way now for my people to be blessed. If, if I say that you're not going to eat, you will not eat. If I say that you will not drive around, you will not drive around. If I say that you literally won't have a roof over your head, you will not have a roof over your head. So this is not, we don't have to be afraid, right? Just live right. Live right. Be righteous for real. Get in your word. Fast, pray, ask God, God, what do I need to do? Because I don't want to fall into the hand of the government. I don't want to fall into the hand of man. God, I want to be in your hand. I want to be in your plan. I want to be in your will. And not because I'm afraid, but because it's just a must. It's a must. It's a, it's, it's a must because, because I love you. And, and, and I want to do right. I don't need these things to come about to cause me to do right. Right? He says, call on me now while I'm near. Call on me now while I'm near. Okay? So I pray that y'all heed the warnings. So just as you begin to see the promise of the Lord, understand you're seeing those promises because he's soon to come back. The more promises that you see, the quicker he is to coming back. But you're going to have everything that he said that you shall have. Okay? So prepare. Get lots of water. You know, lots of uh, canned goods. You know, whatever that looks like. You know how to prepare for your household. If he told you to go somewhere or move somewhere, please make sure that you're hearing from God. Make sure because God will provide everything that you need to move and relocate. 
He's not going to send you somewhere just to be out there looking crazy. That's not how he operates. That's not how he operates. That's not that's not how he operates. And every I'm, somebody might have a story like that. Every now and then you'll find a story like that. But for the most part, God is going to God God is going to give you resources. God, it's not God's will right now that He tell you, hey, I'm moving you to Texas, and then you go to Texas and now you out there just sleeping in your car or you out there just sleeping on the side of the bridge. What glory is God gonna get out of that? Why would He uproot you from where you had a roof over your head? You had you had food, you had money, you had a job, make you leave all of that and just go live in your car. That's not God. That's the devil tricking you. Or that's just your own mind, your own understanding, okay? So don't be deceived in this hour. You, 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 if 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 you really, really get in get in the face of God, if you truly begin to seek him and read that word, trust me, he will lead you and he will guide you. Okay. Okay, let's pray. Father God, I bless your holy name right now, Lord God. I bless you right now, Lord Jesus, for these words, Father God, for this warning, oh God. I pray, Lord Jesus, your people would heed the warning. They would begin to prepare, Lord God, those that are not saved, Father God, that they would get saved, Lord God. They will call on you, Father, and say, just ask you to forgive them, Lord God. Father, we know, Lord God, that we're in perilous times. We know, Father God, that we're in these last days, oh God. We know, Father God, that 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 just everything is so wicked, Lord God, and, and such uh, treacherous and, and, and hardened hearts, Lord God. They're lovers of selves and pleasures, Lord God, more than lovers of you, Father. They're idolizing money and marriages and all these things, oh God. But Jesus, I know that you are setting captives free, oh God. I know that you are still saving and delivering, oh God. So I pray that as this video goes out, Father God, I pray that salvation will go out, deliverance will go out, God. I pray that your people heed the warning in the name of Jesus, oh God, that they would get it right, God. Because we don't want to go to hell, Lord Jesus. If we take our last breath, God, that's where we're going to be in hell. Because hell is real, fire and brimstone. Father God, help us, Jesus. We thank, we thank you, Lord God, that every promise that you have promised us is coming to pass. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. God, save your people now. God, deliver them, Lord Jesus. I pray that they heed these warnings. God, we love you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Y'all, I love y'all. It's been a long day, and I'm like, uh, normally I pray way harder than that, but I just... I just don't like I don't have that. I just don't have the strength right now to do it. So I pray that um that this uh that this in gave you um revelation and I pray um uh, that you would share this video. Share this video with someone so that they can um hear the warning okay they can hear the warning and they can do what it is that they need to do um i will be back soon with another with another video and I'll also be back soon with a series on hell okay because hell is real and a lot of people um don't want to talk about it but hell is very real okay hell is very real and if we take our last breath it is too late if god parts that sky it is too late okay hell is real and 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 you go there and, and and you burn forever and ever and you never burn up okay and so um I, I i want people to understand that it's a real place just like heaven is real hell is real okay so i'm gonna be doing a series on hell um as the holy spirit continues to give me um deeper insight to give to you guys i will see y'all soon um if you want to give um i have the uh, information in my in my uh, in the description box. Um, if you want to go to my website, uh, I have all kind of one on one sessions. I also have um, prayer cloths, uh, water, oil, um, whatever it is. Go check out my website. If you or you might just want to know about me, like who is she? What does she do? What are her credentials? Where did she come from? You can check out my website. That is also in the description box. Um, and if you have any prayer requests, you can email me, um, all of this, all can't get it out. Y'all it's been a long day. All of this information is in, will be in the description box. Okay. I look forward to seeing y'all soon. I pray that you guys heed this warning and until next time, I love y'all take care of one another. Bye.